Sources with knowledge of the ongoing investigation in a New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell say federal investigators are asking similar questions here about the mayor and her bodyguard, NOPD officer Jeffrey Vappi. Sources with knowledge of interviews federal investigators conducted say FBI agents have recently been asking questions about Vappi and Cantrell, their relationship, and the time the two have spent together. Mayor Cantrell has repeatedly denied a relationship with Vappi. Um, as I've stated, you know, uh, based on the false uh, allegations that come my way, by the time I finish this job, literally, you know, accused of, of sleeping with half of the city of New Orleans, both genders and all pronouns. I'm known as Teddy sometimes and then Teddy other times. So with that, false allegations do not, um, that's, that's basically all I have to say about it. Our outside the office investigation found Vappi spending long hours inside the city-owned Upper Pantaba apartment, sometimes leaving late at night alone, not protecting the mayor when she left after midnight. Vappi's wife filed for divorce, claiming in court records Vappi admitted the affair, something Vappi and Cantrell both say is untrue. So as it relates uh, to my professional uh, relationship uh, with Officer Vappi, that's where it is. It's strictly professional. In months worth of public security camera video obtained by Fox 8, Vappi is the only officer to ever enter the Upper Pantaba apartment. Other members of the mayor's executive protection team in interviews with police investigators even called the relationship troubling. Let's rock on the mic. What's up, everybody? And you are listening to the best of the Media Mike Radio Show. I'm your host, the Media Mike Speaks, where we are the voice of the everyday citizen. The time is now eight minutes past the hour here in the Lone Star State. So let's get to this story before it's too late. All right, good people. I had to redo this video because I had a few more things I needed to say about all of these mayors across the country who are just getting themselves in bad situations what is going on we have two of them in illinois one i think stepped down or she was removed and another one in illinois just running the mark now we have the grand old state of louisiana which doesn't have a good track record of keeping mayors or even governors that is so here we are we have Latoya Cantrell, as you saw in the video, is wrapped up in scandal. And not only that, is the sub subject of an ongoing federal investigation. Now, the mayor, Mayor Cantrell, remarked how targeted black leadership appeared to be while addressing federal investigations against her. It, no, it's not African-American leadership. It's things you're doing. You warrant an investigation if things are compromised. And that, that's not what you want. You don't want to be a target. But she put herself out there. You saw in the video. Now, during one of the mayor's latest press conferences, Cantrell, a Democrat, was asked whether she received a target letter related to ongoing investigations against her for ethical violations. While she did not respond to the question directly, she commented on her history of investigations, which she said she will comply. Now, it is a question of ethics. Yes, the Louisiana Board of Ethics on October 31st accused Cantrell of upgrading to first class on city funded flight tickets during her flights in 2022, which violates state law and city travel policy. According to New Orleans, City policy government employees are required to purchase the lowest airfare possible or reimburse the city for accommodations considered deluxe. Now, these charges are criminal, but Mayor Cantrell has made it very clear she's not going to reimburse the city. Now, she may do it now because she's under federal investigation. I don't know. But here's the thing. 
I'm pretty sure the mayor has enough money to upgrade to first class herself and show the receipts for it. But it goes to show you how power goes to one head. One's head, I would say. Now, which brings us to, which we're about to get to, the the mayor, the bodyguard, and the bodyguard's wife. But as you see, the mayor has a defense for that. Not just the bodyguard, the bodyguard, but her reason for upgrading to first class. She says that she argued during the COVID-19, the threat caused her to fly first class in some instances and also cited security concerns. I get that. That's fine. No one is questioning that. The question is you charged it to the city. Reimburse the city or just pay for it yourself going forward. But she doesn't want to do that. Which brings us to now the mayor is seen in a Mardi Gras parade making an obscene gesture to the crowd, I guess. So, this is the mayor of a major city acting like a teenager. Okay, now, well, hey, here we go. Do not know how old she is. She looks fairly well for her age, I'm pretty sure. But the bodyguard's wife really looks 100 times. Well, I'm just saying, and you know, this is, okay. As you saw in the video, yeah, there's a scandal here. And you got some ethical violations and you're under federal investigation. None of that is good. Now, while the full context of the video wasn't immediately made clear, several crews used their floats to continue to take jabs at the mayor's recent controversies. Not just the first class travel, but the use of a city owned apartment, which she has been been several times with her, seen several times with her bodyguard amongst the poor street conditions. So they're not going to fix the streets. It's going to walk around, go to the department with Jeff, Jeffrey Vega. That's what we're doing. Is that what we're doing? Jeffrey Vappi, I mean. Correction. Officer Vappi. Not good. Not good at all. Now, Cantrell, just a little bit in her defense. She is the first African-American woman to be elected mayor of New Orleans in 2018, and she won re-election in 2021. Following the original accusations of her ethics violations, Cantrell faced a recall effort by citizens who questioned her leadership. However, the recall failed in March after the majority of the signatures were considered invalid. Things that make you go, hmm, that seems to be going around lately. It happened to the mayor of New Orleans, too, when they voted a recall and somehow... The court ruled in the mayor's favor saying the signatures were invalid. <laughs> so, okay. Now, since that time, other allegations have been brought to light, such as the close relationship with a bodyguard, New Orleans police officer, Jeffrey Vabby. As you saw in the video, Officer Vabby's wife has filed for divorce, stating that he did admit he had the affair. See, connecting the dots here. Now, hey, no one wants to be all up, up in people's personal lives here. They don't. But the bottom line is you're putting it out there. It's not what it is. It's what it looks like. Now, the mayor did respond by saying, anyone who wants to question how I protect myself just doesn't understand the world black women walk in. Unquote. Now, I don't know what that world is. I see a lot of African-American women walking around and no one is bothering them. So I don't know what that means. Maybe that's a New Orleans thing. I don't know. Now, as you saw in the video, Officer Vappi and Mayor Cantrell is seen spending a lot of time together. Now, I don't know what kind of personal protection he's doing by carrying her bags. You as an officer must have your hands free pretty much at all times to ward off an attacker or to be able to draw your weapon. Now, some officers are trained to drop what's in their hands and draw their weapon. But in this situation, it seems that the mayor is putting Officer Vapi in a very, very awkward position. I didn't see him looking around, but hey, I guess... If you're comfortable in your surroundings, then have at it. And as you saw in the video, it seemed to be late one evening. Officer Vappy leaving, going one way. The mayor then leaving, going another. So, I guess after hours, she doesn't need protection. Only in the daytime. So, he goes out, goes one direction, she goes another. So if anybody came to accost the mayor, that people would be nowhere around. Uh-huh. That's what we're doing. You got cameras everywhere. You got and people just 
really? It is what we're doing. Is this what politicians do? Not all, but these in the line, like, why would you put yourself out like this? Why, why, why? You're not making yourself look good for the sisterhood. Nope, not at all. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not about African Americans. There are some Caucasian mayors got caught up the same way. They, they, they resigned. Guess what? They was getting it on with the bodyguard. I guess that Kevin Costner movie really struck a chord back in the day with, with the late, great Whitney Houston. I don't know. What do you think about this, good people? <laughs> I don't know. The bodyguard. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. So, gentlemen, you have a new profession to go in. No, don't do that. But, well, only if you want to. But this is uh, disturbing here. We must demand and expect better out of our politicians. You're not even trying to be discreet about it if there is something there. And it doesn't look good. And Louisiana doesn't have a good track record of politics anyway. So, but let me know what you think about this. Is this the beginning of the end for Mayor Natalia Cantrell? Who knows? Until next time, this is your guy, Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker. Subscribe, share, and like to keep me rocking on the mic. Have a good night.